Hi everyone, welcome to day 22nd of my 30 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we'll be solving one interview question that was asked in TCS data analyst interview. So let's see the question first. Write a SQL query to retrieve the employee ID, employee name and manager name from the given employee table. It's important to note that managers are also employed in the table. So let's see the table. So the table has employee ID employee name and manager id so what we need to find out basically in a new column manager names but we do not have a manager name column so what we can do we have a, like uh, the manager id by this manager id because this manager id itself it's a employee in this employee table so basically we need to fetch that uh, you know person's name so for example you can see for the employee second which is jen smith so for jen smith manager id is one but the manager id basically this is an employee id right of the manager so now for this one you can see john is the manager who has the employee id one so basically what we need here we need john who is the manager for jen smith so similarly we have like the any other like if i just say any other record like this fiona so fiona has a manager whose whose id is four whose employee id is four so if you see four employee id that's going to be bob williams so basically we need like bob williams name here based on this manager id which is basically is the employee id so let's go ahead and see how we can solve this you know questions so we need employee id which is going to be employee id right that's what we need and then we need other than employee id then we need the employee name and then we will need manager name right manager name so now how can we find this manager name based on the manager id so we can see that we need now this time we need manager id based on employer based on manager id right so we will be using basically cross join to solve this you know questions so i'll be also you know sharing my second approach to solve this question using left join so we will see both of them so let's start writing the query so first we will need employee id right which is going to be employee id and uh, second i need the employee name so i'll be saying employee name and third i need basically this time i need manager name right so we don't need the manager id we need manager name but we don't have any manager name so what we can do is basically we can go ahead and say that this as employee name as manager manager name okay so now if i just go ahead and write it okay basically it's going to give us the same name twice like in c the employee id employee name and manager name but we need this instead of this name we need the manager name based on the manager id so if i go ahead and show you the manager id so that's going to be manager id so i'll just keep this column for now so if i just show you the manager id i'll just comment this one now i'll just remove it now you can see that we have the employee id employee name and manager id so we need for this id basically this is an employee id of another employee right so we need a name for this employee id so for example this one which belongs to john so we need name of that uh, you know person so basically we will create one more table and that's how we will be solving it so we'll be using a cross join to solve this okay if we do not know cross join leave a comment i'll make a video on it so i'll be saying that now this time i'll be saying it employee as e1 so i'm just naming this table as e1 so i'll be now mentioning this is from e1 so i'm now mentioning this is from also e1 and i'm also getting e1 this manager id also from e1 right now i'll do a cross join cross join is basically you are joining uh, you know within the table you are joining based on like you know the columns so i'll be doing cross join and i'll say employees again employees which is the same table but this time i'm naming it as like e2 okay so now i'm saying i'm joining the same table by this time i'm naming it as e2 so i will go ahead and you know remove it for now okay and now i will say that this name that i'm getting okay this name i'm getting that's from the e2 table so i'll just say e2 dot employee name 
so now i'll be need to give a conditions like on the best of what conditions i'm joining this to table so in this cross join we use where condition so i'll be using where which is e1 dot employee so i will be joining on the based on manager id from the e1 table so where i'm saying where employee one table manager id is equals to employee two table dot manager employee id so i'll just show you why i'm doing it employee id so what i'm doing now here i'm saying that for the first table that i have which is the manager id so i want to join based on this manager id with the second table so from the second table i'm only getting the name of the employee and naming it as a managers which will basically come up here so if i just go ahead and run it should give us the results okay let me just see there's a comma i missed so let me just go ahead and run it now you can see for the employee which is jen right so for jen the manager id is one and the manager name is john now for the employee which is employee id 3 alice for alice the manager id is also one the manager name is john but for the uh, fourth employee which is bob williams the employee id is two basically this employee which is jen and the manager name is jen smith so basically this is how we can basically join within the table using cross join and basically you know making logic this is how we can solve this type of problems so now i'll show you my second approach using left join how you can solve this you know questions so let's go ahead and say approach two so in approach two we will again do the same this time we will be using left join instead of cross join so left join is basically you are joining everything from the left side table and only joining the matching rows from the right side table so we will say again this time we want employee id then we want employee name then we want manager id then we want employee name as manager id so everything is going to be same like we did in this table so instead of cross join we will say left join now we will be getting this from e1 table so i'm just putting dot e1 so i'll be getting this one also from e1 table and i'm getting this from the e2 table which is e2 table so we're doing the same thing now this time we're joining left join so uh, let's go ahead and run the query then i will show you the logic behind it so there is a mistake let me just check elect okay i have not selected the whole query okay so now in left join we need to use on conditions because you cannot use where conditions that was only for cross chain so if i just go ahead and run it now you can see we have got all those you know employees now including the employees who doesn't have a manager like the first employee which is john so john doesn't have a manager we have got john record as well now let me explain what exactly happened you know behind this basically you know query so now we're saying that we're selecting this employee id from the table one which is this one we are naming it as table one and we are selecting employee name and manager id so all these three records are coming from the table one which is employees right and now we are saying that okay left join this table with another table which name is same which is employees and that table we are naming it as employee two so we are doing a left join between these two tables so from the first table we are getting everything that we already have like employee id name and manager id now from the second table from the second table we are getting only the employee name because now in the second table we are only getting the employee name we have everything in the second table but we are only getting the employee name based on a conditions based on a condition this is the conditions the condition says where the manager id from the table one so this is so this is the table one from this table one where the manager id is equals to the table two employee id so in the table two we have the same everything same right but we have employee id employee name and managers and now we are saying that in the table two this manager id has to be same with the table two employee id if that match the same then return us basically the manager the employee name and we are naming it as a manager basically instead of id i'll just manager name right so we are returning it as a manager name although this is the employee name in the second table so if i just run it 
now it's basically showing us the manager name right so we have employee id employee name manager id manager name if we just want to ignore this employee like who doesn't have a manager we can just simply use the where conditions like where we can see that uh, where manager so where this one where manager id is is not null it should basically remove that the first employee who doesn't have manager so we're saying that don't select the employee who doesn't have a manager so that we get like all the employee who has the managers along with their manager's name that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end i'm going to add a link in the description of the video for this schema and the table so you can go ahead download it and you know practice by yourself